Eli, be a good boy. Oh, Eli. Thank you. So the bags. I was like, oh, the wrong bags. <laughs> So in that video, I didn't really manage to record very much. So let me go over everything that I found. Okay, so one of the items I got was this huge big jug or pitcher. It's £3.50. It does have a hairline there. It kind of goes a wee bit down over there. The only reason I bought this, well, obviously the shape. The shape is awesome. And looks totally like 
could be mid-century, could be Art Deco, could even be 80s, is actually Victorian. You've got your, um, like the kite lozenge mark there. It's pretty impossible to find the date because the glaze, it's like a celadon glaze, it's so thick. Um, but yeah, £3.50, I was like, yes, please, I love that. Another item I got for £1.50 was this crystalline glaze Chinese vase. It's gorgeous. It's the white with the crystalline glaze. It's so pretty. So really like that. So I'm thinking 20-ish, maybe a little bit more. And then the Victorian jug, maybe about 40 to 50 on that one. This I picked up for £1.50 also. It is like a soapstone, I think. Um, pyramid. Now, people do buy them. They'll, they, someone will buy that for 18 to 25 ish um, Yeah, it's lovely, solid soapstone pyramid paperweight type thing. A couple of bags I got. I'm not quite sure what to do with this one. It is gorgeous. This is check glass bead purse probably from the um, 30s or 40s it does have an old made in czechoslovakia but it is it does have some imperfections as you would expect like there's little bits coming off here and there's just some thread but it is like there's no like loose beads it's just um you know someone might be able to fix that but it is a gorgeous purse i think we got this for three if memory serves i was with my friend mary and i think we will probably aim for Maybe just 20, 25 on this, but it is gorgeous. The next one is this. I actually paid up for this. Well, paid up for me. <laughs> 4 95 So we'll, we'll round off as, as a fiver. It's got a, quite a cool clasp there. Open it up. And then inside it has, it's like lined, kind of like with a felt. And it has a made in India sticker there or label there so i really like this it's a perfect little size um great for christmas great for a night out so i think maybe 25 ish for that this one we got at the rio uh, jumble sale this is a miss 60 like canvas bag like rattan, sorry. I don't I don't know. What would you straw rattan? I don't know. And um, there's the Miss 60 there. This is so cool. So it has Miss and then the 60 and then all these like little spindly bits. It's so nice. It's actually in really good condition. So yeah, I think uh 30 to 40 on that. I spent one pound on it. Another thing from the Rio is this. <laughs> it's, so it's so cool. It's almost. It's like velvet and it has these like diamonds in it. And. Yeah, they're just diamonds. And it's got um, Dorothy Carlton. London made in England and then it was sold at McEwan's I believe in Scotland looks straight out of the 60s or 70s to me <laughs> I think that's fab I don't think I could get away with wearing this though and it's it's quite small what do you think <laughs> oh totally ruined my hair but never mind so yeah I, I really like that. A pound again, so maybe 25 to 30 for this one. And the last thing, well, the last thing I got for resale, the last thing I got from the Rio were these candlesticks, 50 pence each. I got the two for a pound. Nice, vintage. 
um, like the twist stem. They're not the barley twist stem. The barley twist stem is when it's an open twist, I think. These are just twisted stems. Or are these the barley twist? I don't know. But they're nice, and I think I'll polish them up and get them online for Christmas. So some more charity shop buys. Now, there's three, like, plasticky bangles here. I love this two-tone retro square. And there's just, a, like, an orange like faux amber type it's like marbled i need to test this one for bakelite um and then i got this one i think this is a jackie brazil i can't find a signature on any of the beads but the beads are just for, like there's a few online that are just exactly the same so yeah really like that really ruined my hair today thanks to that hat and then this one, it's a twist barrel clasp and it's smoky quartz, vintage, it's a bit loose but it's sturdy as anything, the, the thread beneath is really sturdy but yeah, beautiful smoky quartz, lovely and I think each piece was a pound each. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I managed to thrift off eBay. Um, just a few, um, like one is a brooch and one is a very small bundle. Um, so stick with me and I'll quickly show you that. And I'll show you the listing and why I bought them. So I bought this for 99 pence plus three pounds. It was advertised as 1960s. And I got this one for a pound plus one pound 15 postage. So the first one that you saw was this that I picked up. It was in a, just on by itself. It has a tiny little chip here. But as you can see at the back, that's an old clasp. That is an old back. That's more late Victorian than 1960s. And the beautiful like banded agate um, carnelian with a, a druzy. It's not an open druzy, but it does have druzy there. It is slightly cracked, but... I would say this is a very old piece, but I love that. So this is the bundle. Here is a lovely necklace with some natural stones and beautiful natural pearls. Just a mixture of some amethyst and probably some, I don't know if that's blue lace or there's clear quartz. That clear quartz, that one bead has chipped, but it's not affected, you know, the where it's threaded through. So it's still gorgeous. And it does have a 925 clasp. There. I really need to file my nails, but it's quite the luxury nowadays. This one is a lovely amethyst and clear quartz. That's just a gold tone clasp. This one is like the rosary beads, but it is actually marked 800 in there. 800. So I think that's 800 gold over silver. This is lovely these are natural pieces of amber you see the green oh it doesn't really show let me turn this flash off there so you've got some nice natural amber and it has a 925 clasp this wire is not silver though i've tested that wire that's not silver this one is lovely so this is a leather a leather necklace with a lovely amethyst and it is 925 it's marked up there and it does have a maker's mark but i couldn't make it out but yeah and then it says 925 up there yeah so yeah a lovely a lovely necklace 
So all that, I was so happy. All that for, for that price. Super happy. And then that as well. So that is the eBay thrifted jewellery. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.